truly a privilege and a delight to be here at my first visit to Korea. To learn from the foremost authority in telomere and telomere science, discoverer of telomerase was amazing. What are telomeres and telomerase and then why should we care? And so the basic science is what I'll talk about first. I think it takes a lot of things to be a great scholar, even a Nobel laureate, but I think the ability to deliver a great lecture is one of those aspects. Our research relates to a particular aspect and that is the unwelcome aspect of increased susceptibility to diseases and that of course is all too well known for diseases uh, such as for example cancers. Uh, it's a really awesome lecture and the responses from the audiences was also very great. I think it's, it's a big chance for our college and students. I knew beforehand what uh, telomeres are and the telomerase, what, what, what it does, but I never really realized uh, how much it's interlinked with you know, chronic diseases like cancer, like uh, CV diseases, and so on. Certainly scores of studies show that there's a clear relationship between diseases and the degree of shortness of telomeres. I learned a lot through her lecture. It was really inspiring. I liked interacting with the students a lot because they, they ask these marvelous questions. You know, they're not naive questions, but in some way they're, they're sort of fresh questions and, uh, and they force you to think anew. And so, you know, that's immensely stimulating. Th that's exactly the question that comes to my mind very much. By hearing what sorts of questions students ask, you can start grappling with, well, what are the things that they care about? Because that's going to be important for science in the future. Uh, my question is uh, to ask you if there is any difference between the paternal set of chromosomes and maternal set of chromosomes with regard to the telomere length. Myself, I'm a telomere researcher inspired by people like Blackburn and uh, Carol Greider. It was a you know, dream come true to be in front of her uh, asking a question and hearing her comment. The most uh, important uh, initiative is for students. This initiative is very uh, great input for them, uh, for future perspective of research activity. Uh, this is the first time we launched such efforts in Korea, so it really demonstrates the importance of Korea in innovation landscape. And working together collaboratively between uh, pharma industry, academia and clinicians is absolute key. The most important thing I learned for, from her answer was uh, the importance of the colleagues. You know, we're young then and Carol is wearing her California uniform. You see Mickey Mouse ears from Disneyland. And uh, so, so, you know, we were young and energetic and we uh, were able to uh, discover this, this new enzymatic activity. One moment I remember was uh, Mrs. Blackburn doing the Gangnam Style dance. Feel that she's the greatest scholar in the world that she gets to dance with Gangna style. That's so cool. I mean, that was <laughs> like uh, fantastic. So, so, so you realize Korea is providing a marvelous form of exercise for the world. We often forget what we are going for, and when a person like her inspires, that gives us strength to study harder. I think. I really had great discussions, especially with the um, younger people asking questions, that have made me think about things. And I think we all enjoy that. This initiative and these events will help inspire and motivate the future generation uh, to dream big dreams, to think the seemingly impossible, and to just go for it. Absolutely, I'm feeling thrilled and inspired and motivated. Uh, I just need to get back to the lab. <laughs>